Hello and welcome back to my Cheat Engine tutorial series. In step 8 we're dealing with multi-level pointers. Uh, this particular case we are dealing with a four, uh, level 4 pointer. Uh, essentially this means that this is 4 uh, addresses deep. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is find out the value of our original value which is 238 for me and I will find that real quick so it's this guy right here so remember when trying to work with pointers you want to find out what accesses this address not what writes to this address okay so go ahead and attach the debugger if you haven't already and whenever I click change value again I get this instruction here which is moving EAX into ESI to the offset of 18 of ESI. Uh, we want to copy this right here so what I'll do is I'm going to open notepad and I'm just going to keep track of my addresses and my offsets right here. So if I scroll down if I look at ESI I'm just going to copy this address and I'm going to put plus 18 since we can see 18. So essentially this address is just stored in the ESI register right here at the offset 18. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to do a scan on this address, only this is in hexadecimal format. So if I do a new scan, I just need to make sure that I click this little box here first. All right, so I'm going to scan for this, and I've got a handful of addresses. Um, I can close my debugger, and I'm just going to run through real quick and find out what accesses uh, each one of these. and I've got these windows kind of popping up all over the place. If you have too many, it'll tell you about it. So let me move some of these windows back over here and this just kind of saves some time, you know. Uh, so let me hit my button and nothing has happened. So I know it's not any of these. It's gotta be either this one and it is okay so here we can see it's stored in ESI with no offset so if I come down I can copy this value here and this time there's not going to be any offset now if there is no offset just use zero to keep your place alright so we can stop that now we need to scan for this address so we'll do a new scan and since the last one was the second from the bottom, I'll just start with this one and see what access is this. Excellent. Okay, so ESI with the offset of 14. Let's copy this address again, which is ESI. And this time I'm going to do plus 14. And we'll copy this address and we'll do a scan for it. So we're essentially repeating the same process over and over. And each time we do that, you'll notice that our that our results go down because we're starting to narrow this down. Let's find out what access is that. ESI at 0C offset. So let's find ESI plus 0C and since this is our fourth one it should be the last one we'll go ahead and stop and close that i'll do a new scan and search for this and here we can see this green address which means that's a static address and this is the address that we're looking for so what we do is we add the address manually and we're going to click pointer and since we've got four pointers here i'm just going to go ahead and add those offsets now i should have said offsets not four pointers uh, the first one is 18, the second one is 0, the third one is 14, and then 0C for the last one. And our address is this 5FC660, and you can see our number and our address come to life, which is 238. 238, that means that we've done this correctly, so I'll hit OK, and I believe the task is to set it to 5,000 so let me go ahead and do that 5,000 and I'll freeze that value I'm gonna go ahead and click on change pointer we're gonna wait and our next button lights up so that concludes step 8 if you need help with anything or have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to respond and I hope this video has been helpful for you I'll see you in the next one